Good evening students. Today I am going to explain you the total card data phylum. So let's start with vertebrata. So it includes both the jawless fishes and the tetrapods. Okay. And now let us start with this. These are the jawless fishes. You can see the lamprey. They do not have jaws. Okay. And you can also observe the mouth has a sucker. And these are the uh, jaw fishes. So the, you can also look this uh, cartilaginous fishes, the sharks, different sharks you can, you can see. And this is the shark. You can also observe the internal anatomy of the shark, dogfish. Now these are the bony fishes. You can also have a look of uh, the mandrel fish. And this is the angler fish. This is the lionfish. And you can also see the wide varieties of fishes. You can see the internal structure of the fishes. This is the skeletal system of bony fish. You can see the opercular bone here. You can also observe the lateral line of the fishes. This is the caudal fin. And this is the homo circle in case of bony fishes. So you can see the wide varieties of fishes. There are almost 40,000 species in fishes. Okay, you can see this box fish. It looks like box. And these are emperor angle fish. And these are the golden eyed dwarf fishes. You can see the zebra pipe fish. So you can see the golden fish. This is the thrown back race. And these are the three strip fishes. So you can see the sea horses. The yellow fish and copper band fishes. These are zebra fishes. They looks like zebra color. Okay, the wide varieties of fishes. So we generally we use in aquarium. And this is the pyjama. So it looks like pyjama. Now this is the one, the mud skipper. This is the one who can live on without water also. So you can see the fishes, you know, they travel long distance. Uh, in many in numbers, but they do not touch each other. Okay, they have very discipline. They have, they are, they are having this lateral line system. You can see the mandrel fish, very beautiful. This is the red fish. So you can the, they find food. Uh, they can capture the smaller fishes. And this is the angler fish. You no, know, they it throws the water up to four meters to capture the prey also. Okay. Yeah, these are the teeth of the piranha. The, all the teeth are very sharp and similar in structure. So you can see the the traveling of the fishes. They they always travel in a bulk numbers, but they do not touch each, each other. And this is the sea horse. So the uh, fishes always they lay eggs in a million. We call it a spawn. This is how they start growing. These are the pouches of eggs. And you can see the spotted rays thrown, thrown back. Okay, these are the egg cases of the sharks. And we'll move on to the amphibia. So, so amphibia include the frogs and toads. So this the when we do dissection, exactly it looks like this. So you can see the internal anatomy of frog. You can see the digestive system. You can see the excretory system, arteries, veins. Okay, these are the forelimbs, hind limbs. You can see the external anatomy. This is the head part. This is a trunk. You can see the forelegs and the hind legs you can see this layer the tympanium membrane eardrum you can also see the digits of the frog this this is the tail amphibian the example is salamander uh, this is the skeletal system of the frog you can see the metamorphosis of frog you know, they lay eggs they develops into tadpole they have this tail and the fins and slowly the tail disappears and there is a development of the 
first hind limbs then slowly the four limbs and tail disappears and this is a young frog okay, this is the whole process we call it as metamorphosis and you can see the various frogs and this is a very colored orange colored frogs yeah this is a toad and this is a frog the toads have having the dry surface okay so they always you know capture the food by throwing this tongue out these are the flying frogs they can turn their direction in the air itself so these are the salamanders you can see the very you know long tongue now we'll move on to the the reptiles it includes the lizards snakes crocodiles tortoise and you can have a look of the very beautiful lizard so you can see the dorsal scales and very powerful claws this is an skeletal system of the lizard and these are the snakes you can see the rattle snake they have the rattle on the posterior and this is the skeletal system of uh, snake and this is a digestive system of the lizard and these are crocodiles this is a caiman you can see the very beautiful you can also observe the teeth but they they have the very powerful teeth but they cannot chew it okay and this is a tortoise and the turtle so the tortoise mostly on the land but turtle they are in the sea okay this is an internal anatomy of uh, tortoise and so you can see this reptiles this is a flying gecko the flying gecko and the crocodiles so tortoise and so one beauty about this tortoise is you no know, they can hide themselves in the shell okay the tortoise so the scientists are believed that the dinosaurs are evolved from the tortoise and these are the lizards so this jackos and they do not have eyelids so they always clean their eyes with tongue this is the chameleon this is a flying lizard they can also walk on water see they are on the land they are on the water they are on the flying they are on trees yeah now the snakes you can see the snakes you can observe the tail is like fork there are many varieties of the snakes uh, the typical snakes vipers constrictors and poisonous snakes there are most dangerous snakes the most of the snakes uh, they are cold blooded so they undergo the hibernation very long sleep they will go you can see observe the various kinds of the snakes these are the crocodiles and alligators yeah now we'll move on to the birds we can observe the external features very powerful beak and the the toes are having the claws and body is covered by the feathers and they also have the wings for their aerial habitat so this is the skeletal system of the birds this you can observe this furcula this is called as the wishbone the two clavicles join together this is an one of the flight adaptation in birds and you can also observe this ventral keel bone okay this is very important and the, all the major bones long bones they are hollow one we call them as pneumatic bones so very long neck uh, cervical vertebrae and you can also observe the uh, digestive system over here you can see very large crop and gizzard and this is also one of the flight adaptation 
and you can observe the the feet you now it is in web and they are, the fingers are separate here and they have powerful claws and you can see the wings and wings has various parts this is the primary flight feathers these are secondary flight feathers these are major coverts and these are minor coverts and this is the skeleton of the wing and this is the feather you can see the different kinds of the beaks this is the the beak of vulture this is the beak of macaw and this is the beak of flamingo and these are the different eggs of the birds okay you can see the uh, the process of hatching the slowly so they cut through the egg and now they break out and they slowly emerges from the egg and they develops and these are the different uh, eggs and this is the eggs of the uh, dogfish and this is the egg of ostrich you can see so you can have a look of various birds you can see the parrot toucan finches those owl and you can see the macaw very beautiful macaw and this is the flamingo turkey chicken the penguin ostrich and the ostrich is a uh, largest bird and hummingbird is the smallest one okay. so this is a parrot so everybody knows this is the feathers okay and they travel very long distance you know they travel every year uh, because of season more importantly they travel to the same place every year that's the beauty of birds okay you can have a look of the very beautiful birds here and the one of important features the birds make nests to uh, take care of their eggs so they take care of eggs some birds you know they also use the um spider's web also to have a very nice nest okay this is the way they hatch out the complete the process of hatching and once they fully develop they they will they will not take care of their babies okay they take care up to only the development that is the beauty of the birds that we need to learn from the birds they can also sing we know the parrots can sing so they do many uh, greater things and important is birds are also have the warm blooded like us as you can see the very small hummingbird there's many insects are larger than this uh, birds okay very smallest one hummingbird and these are the freshwater birds in we know ducks swan okay these are the uh, this is a flamingo these are the freshwater birds and there are sea birds so birds can be everywhere on the land on the water on the air these are penguins on the polar regions and so this is the way they capture the prey this is the egg of ostrich these are the night flies owls okay and these are exotic flyers you can see the very this is a macaw very beautiful color macaw okay so in birds mostly the males are very beautiful you can see the cockerel and you can see the peacock and this is a peacock and this is a peahen they also some birds they also change color camouflage to protect from enemies and they also shows the migration very long distance these birds can travel and these are the flightless birds like ostrich penguin they do not fly but they can run very fast okay the ostrich can run very fast yeah now the mammals now these are the carnivores 
so you can absorb the very powerful can can so these are the dog wolf and the bear you can see the skeletal system of the carnivores and these are the rabbit so you can have a nice look the pinna okay the pinna of rabbit these are the rats and this is the skeletal system of hare uh, this is the porcupine and these are ungulates you can see the hearts and you can also see the the skeletal system of the heart hearts and this is the cows no cows they are having the two digits whereas the hearts is having only one you can see the digestive system of the cow this is the giraffe and this is the camel this is the rhinoceros and these are this is an african elephant this is the largest animal on the land you can see very long tongue which is made by the upper lip and nose and these are the very long uh, pinna external ear so they flap to have a um, no coolness chillness on the body okay. these are the tusk you can see the upper incisors they modified as tusk these are primates you can have a look of the lemur this is the monkey this is the mandrill and this is the chimpanzee okay so this is the gorilla these are the dolphins whales and seals they are also mammals you can also have a look of the seal their body is like uh, fishes and the face is like dogs this is the dolphins you can see the whales these are the different kinds of whales this is narwhal have very tip very long tip now the marsupials the pouched animals kangaro external features you can observe you can have a look of the different mammals so we are closely associated with mammals most of the mammals we know and so these are the these are the lemur and these are monkeys and these are mandrills okay these are the spider monkeys so these are apes no apes are differ from monkeys no they include the chimpanzees and gorilla and human beings no we are very closely related to the chimpanzees and you can observe the chimpanzees are very clever you know they are the first who use the tools for their uh, food and uh, they are very you know they are very intelligent in facial expressions you no know, they are they are the one who maintains the grooming okay always the chimpanzees are uh, very you know very smart and very handsome they always maintains grooming and these are the cat families these are the big cats you no know, even tigers are includes in the big cats tigers this is a black le leopard so these are wolves big dogs these are bears you can see the meat cots so the map you can see the pangolins pangolins so you know the rats and these are bats so some bats you know like uh, vampire bats they always depends on the fresh blood some eats only fruits these are marsupials you can see the kangaroo they have pouched body 
they take care of their babies several months elephants you can see the african elephants they have very long external pinna these are teats you can see the tamper they, they looks like pig but they are not pigs these are teats this is a cattle family these are zebras now these are giraffes these are camel and these are these are llamas these are water animal seals they are also mammals now dolphins you can see the different varieties of dolphins there is a big blue this is the largest animal uh, of in entire animal kingdom blue whale balanoptera musculus this is a dolphin okay that's it thank you thank you for watching